Okay guys, so welcome back. Up bright and early this morning. Um, now on my way to um, Hybrid Tune uh, in I. So, um, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what to expect from today. The guys are saying that we're gonna just do a test or a rolling mode test on what we've got here now. Uh, we'll try to sort of modify the map that's already on here. They want to try and also build their own map so they can put on other Fiesta STs. They've not actually had one into their workshop before, so this is a good uh, experience for them to have a bit of a play, see what we can come up with. Uh, I think from what they were saying is, is the mounting map is one of the best maps for this car if you're not going to do anything else to the car apart from put the mountain stuff on here so obviously i've got some extra bits and pieces there and basically what with mountain they just there's a lot of safety built into it i mean they are the best tuner in, in the uk um so i've been told i'm i'm not a hundred percent sort of knowledge up on tuners as such I mean I'm not really done much sort of tinkering with cars like this before but what the guys were saying is they don't want to um, this is not this is not to sort of do mountain down at all or not 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 at all this is for them to see what they can do with the stock map to see if they can see what power they can get so basically this is sort of like the the mountain is the, the, the three uh, sorry the 235 is just a bulk standard map that can go on any standard car um, it's not tuned for anything else apart from just the parameters that they move about a bit to, to give you a bit more power so I think the object of today is to take that and basically fine tune it to this particular car because obviously I've got the high flow um, I've got the F the um, intercooler on here now as well uh, with the airbox which is the mountain airbox so I'm guessing when they built their map they would have used that but uh, like I said I've not spoke to mountain so I don't really know um, but I think my expectations of today and tomorrow are I think we're going to find that at the moment I'm probably pushing about 240 brake and I reckon by the time um, Hybrid Tune have finished with this I reckon I'll probably get another 10 brake so I'm sort of hoping by the end of tomorrow I'll leave there with 250 brake that's my goal whether we'll achieve that I'm not sure I've not told the guys up there that's that's my thoughts I'll speak to them about it when I get there so um, that the proof will be in the pudding once we get there and start having a play about I think what we're what we're going to do first off is we're going to dyno the car as it is we'll dyno the car with the stock map on so we've got a stock map reading we've got a mountain reading and then we'll push on with letting them sort of tinker about a bit and stuff and seeing what extra bits and pieces we can get really I'm pretty keen on getting the overrun tuned in a bit better than what it is at the moment um, I've got I'm not sure about the old overrun on these cars because I've heard a lot of other people record stuff and every every overrun sort of seems to sort of cut in and out slightly different on this particular car it, it never you have to work for it which which is good but it doesn't seem to pop so much when you're changing gear. Um, not I've, and I've heard on other cars where you get some good pops when you're going up the gears rather than down the gears. So hopefully we can sort that out somehow today. Um, I think, like I said, you've got the best of both worlds in this car. So I want it to pop and bang a lot when it's in race mode or sports mode. And obviously when it's in normal mode, you don't get anything. So I'd rather it be 
a bit over the top in sports mode because obviously when you're in sports mode you're going to be out on the back roads and I mean that's when it sounds the best when you're in the towns and villages and stuff you can knock it right down and no one will ever know so um, I don't know it might be something we could do might be might not be able to do anything at all but I'm pretty certain there's something you can do about it so um, that's that's the plan for this morning so I'll cut back once I'm there um, and we'll see how today pans out so um, hopefully we'll see you in about 20 minutes when I'm there So we're now at Hydra Tune and um, we're just getting ready to do a base run on the car so I'm not allowed in the unit when uh, when this is going to be happening so I've set the main camera up running um, I'll see what footage I can get from here but um, yeah I've just been speaking to the guys there's yeah very interesting what they can do here um, I'll get a bit more um, footage of what they're doing later but basically all we've done at the moment is took the car inside we've um, set the car into base mode so it's on the stock map it's um, literally just um, yeah running stock so we're gonna do you see what power we're getting as, as stock with all the bits I've got on there so um, okay.
so we just run the first test, um, roll it test on the stock map. So the um, we got 210 brake horsepower um, with everything I've got on there. So that's pretty much what we expected with the bolt ones I got. So um, we're now going to put it onto the mounting map and see what we get. Okay, so we've just done the mounting run, um, and surprisingly. We only pulled 224, so 224 brakes. So um, it's not as much as either any of us was expecting. So um, we don't really know why. Um, it's, it could be a number of things. Um, the dynos always read slightly different and whatnot, but the guys seem to think that um, there's still a lot more in there. So we're now going to. Um, They've done a lot of data logging, so that's now got to be sent off to their tuning uh, people they use for their software because they need to update their software. So we're now going to um, get the software updated, and then hopefully I can get a few um, a bit more detail of how we're going to program the car um, and see what maps they can do. So um, might be a little while, but we'll 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 send this data off and we'll be back. Okay, hi guys there. So. This is the next day, um, after yesterday um, it was a bit of a bit of a washout really um, due to the fact that we couldn't get access to the car uh, because the, uh, the mounting map is locked out to mounting and after many hours of me emailing back and forth and trying to sort something out we still didn't get the problem resolved yesterday so today well, I got went home yesterday from the from um, hydro to tune and tried to get it all sorted I thought I'd got it sorted I got a map sent to me from mountain and um, which really what you need what you need is a stock map which hasn't got a lock on it so they lock the they lock the maps out so obviously any other tuners can't see what they've done uh, which is completely understandable which is fine but you would have thought that the stock map that i already had would have been unlocked and to give it someone access to the car because apparently not even ford can gain access to the vehicles if it's got that particular mounting map on which is locked up um, whether that's right or wrong I don't know I'm over it now so it's, it's, it's up to you guys to make your mind up if if you think that's fair or not um, but anyway it's a new day um, unfortunately I lost my full slot for today because we weren't sure whether I was going to get anything sorted or not so the guys have already rearranged their diary for um, them to, um, to, to obviously look at other customers cars and stuff so which is fine which is I completely understand that at, at their end um, I, I didn't want to I'm not here to mess anybody about at all um, I mean they were just as disappointed as I was because I think they were looking forward to tinkering with this but what I have agreed with them is because obviously I'm off work today I had yesterday and today off um, now I've got the, uh, another map which mounting guarantee me will work I've said to them I'll come up today we'll just plug the car in and make sure they can read the car because obviously what I don't want to do is to book another day with them at some point soon hopefully um, and it still doesn't work so if we can just prove now today that that it, it will work um, we should be able to um, go in to the car a bit more and do a bit more work on it so they've done a full data log on the car already so they've got all the data they need what what I think he might do he might take a copy of the stock map and then do some work on it off while I'm not there and then obviously when I go back he can try things with the car then I'm not sure I'll find out when I get there um, but the guys there yesterday were fantastic Sam there was just um, brilliant um, I highly recommend the guys um, so they were telling me when I was there at Hydro Tune that they're, they're moving from the little unit they're in at the moment uh, they've got a two wheel dyno at the moment they're 
in the process of down the road having a new custom made workshop made which is four times bigger than what they've got already um, and they're gonna have um, three or four post lifts in there they're getting a full brand new um, four-wheel drive dyno and I think they're having a two-wheel drive one fitted as well so they'll be able to do the full works there um, they're, from what I've seen yesterday they don't mess about there they know exactly what they're doing they were very professional they sanitized my car before they got in it uh, they put the full seat covers on the guy in the car was wearing a mask constantly the whole time and before we finished and before I got into the car um, it was all fully sanitized throughout again um, which to me is just that little extra step which is was good in this sort of period we're in of this sort of COVID coronavirus uh, jobby so um, I, yeah that, that impressed me and just their professional sort of take on things and um, we're good and they were they were just as disappointed as I was as I said so um, yes there you go it, it is what it is I'm not gonna get my pram about anything I was a bit peed off yesterday but um, okay so just left the hybrid tune and we've had success um, we've managed to access the car um, the guys have took the map from the car and they'll have a look at it over the next few days and I've rebooked another full day to go back so they can have the whole day with the car doing whatever they need to do and they know they'll be able to gain access so it's been a bit of a faff but we're there the I think from going back in a few weeks time when I'm booked up um, we may have a massive extra result we may be sticking with the mounting um, he's pretty unsure what obviously he can do until he gets the car with him so um, I also spoke to him about the rolling road uh, um, sort of scenario of different readings on different dynos and hopefully he'll explain it a bit better when we go back but um, the rolling road they use is um, there's you get a lot of drag on a rolling road and some rolling roads will calculate the drag itself and then some people calculate that um, manually so that's one of the big differences from my understanding and the their rolling road calculates it the, the, the rolling road calculates the drag and that obviously that is then taken off the figures you get so um, nothing's inputted into the dyno it's all done by the dyno so theoretically it should be a lot more accurate than something that's sort of calculated and then manually added in um, so obviously when you hear dynos and I've heard this before when I've watched videos uh, and never really understood why it's done that way is when a car is obviously revved out to its full max speed you then hear the, the, the clutch is dipped and the um, the car just sort of brings itself to a, a, a stop just with the clutch dip so the wheels are just spinning to a stop with the clutch down so basically that part is the dyno calculating the drag through the car itself um, in and um, that's the calculation of the drag which obviously is then either added or on to the figure to, to give you an, a, an accurate figure so apparently uh, Sam was saying that his dyno he is like constantly having it compared to the best of the best and his is quite accurate he did tell me a couple of names of dynos which his is very close to there's a big company in Germany that uses this one I can't remember he will we'll, we'll explain that later 
but he said his figures are very close to um, the big boys that, that he, they're doing this sort of on a commercial basis so we I'm pretty confident the figures that we've got are very um, accurate as close as we're gonna get so um, anyway I'm not gonna keep waffling on about it I don't want to make this video it's gonna be massively long anyway I think once by the time we've been back next week and sort of done the mapping part I think that's gonna be the most interesting bit to be fair so um, on that account I'll sign off now and hopefully next time you see me I'll be heading back there to get the map sorted out hopefully and see what power we can actually get out of this so see you then okay so we've just got the high between today um, they got a couple of cars in on the dyno um, at the moment so just a couple of customers that they wanted to get done first before mine went in today so um, we're just going to get them done and then we're going to get my car up onto the dyno and it's probably going to sit on there most of the day while Sam uh, obviously takes the, um, the stock map and then modify it. I think he's got an office over the back there and the workshops here so um, I think he'll flip between the two just for a little while today um, he does most of the main things on his main computer in there and then he sends it over to the workshop here at the moment um, to put the tune onto the car and then I think once he's got it sort of where he wants it we'll do most of the other bits sitting in the car when he does the fine tune and afterwards so um, I'll let him get done we'll get the car in and then we'll just go through the process so I don't know how much footage I can get while we're in there um, but I will get as much as I can um, while we're waiting I'll just go through um, a few little cars that they've got here which they're working on at the moment um, and then we'll see where we get with my car so that's, fingers crossed we can get where we want to get so the day will sort of pan out and hopefully it will look good at the end so I will yeah let's see what happens
not doing this yet, have you? Nope. I've driven one of these mark eights. This, but she doesn't drive it hard, so it talks there a bit before. Yeah, yeah. yeah these are the torques there on these are it's quite aggressive, isn't it? Really, really bad. Yeah, considering it's sort of sub one, it's you know, even when it was stock, I mean, you could never feel the yeah, the torques there.
round two things has not messed us up the most, has it really? But just flashed it on and, and go. At least once we got that file we needed, there was no issue, really, was it? No. Jobs are good. Good, eh? I will just quickly plug the laptop in there, and yeah. if, you, if you don't mind, we'll just quickly go up the road again, and I'll get a data log on the road. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll leave it running. Yep. Yeah. Back in a sec. Now Sam's gone. I'll tell you what, he's been a star today. He's persevered with it, and um, we didn't quite get to the power we wanted, but I'll tell you what, it's made a massive difference. So. Um, yeah, I'm prop chuffed and it feels so much better, just by the smile on my face. Happy days. What do you need? Uh, do you need it sort of just driven normally or? No, nah, just, a, just a full throttle run. Like, we, we'll go back around again, shall we, what we just did? We can go, if we go left out of here, then turn around at that junction and then and just come, come back past Is it. that all you need, is it? Yeah, yeah. Just a, just a sort of second to third to fourth gear pull. Just to make sure primarily that we're not getting any more boost than we were on the road. Yeah, when you're ready. Full throttle all the way, yeah? yeah. So it would be right. quite noticeable, would it? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yep. I wouldn't put anything else in it other than big power anyway. No. So, no. Probably somewhere in the region of 20 horsepower. What, you'd, gone, you'd be gone just yeah. by the fuel? Yeah. Right, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Happy days. Right. Sweet. Okay, so now leaving hybrid, hybrid tune. Um, and, yeah, so to conclude, really, for today, we got... 237 brake horsepower so we're sort of yeah then Sam has said look that's the maximum it would like to go with um, everything I've got on here and because of the age of the car um, he said if you start going too mad you can definitely do damage to the car and obviously I don't want that and he doesn't want that um, but oh my god even the difference with we're we're about 15 brake horsepower more than I was this morning when I when I got there so um, yes oh my god the difference is it feels again like from when I had it stopped putting the mountain on I'm now getting that same feeling from the mountain to what hypertune has just done so if you was going in to hypertune as a stock customer to getting this well I wouldn't even the, the difference would be immense um, so we're sort of just been chatting and if you think that hypertune uh, sorry uh, uh, mountain would get um, 235 brake on their dyno and say we were getting in this car went there and we was getting 235 brake on their dyno um, we sort of predict that on that same dyno we would be getting at least we'd be getting close to the 250 mark which we were looking for um, so yeah I am over the moon um, don't get me wrong I'd like to have left there with a printout saying I've got 250 brake horsepower but in the grand scheme of things, getting hooked up on dyno figures is um, it's not worth it. I don't think 
I think every dyno is different, like I've said a hundred times before. Um, I'm happy now with how this car drives. It's just, oh my god, it's amazing. It's quite interesting to see what Sam said about the torque steer on this. Um, is these two things torque steer mad? Um, especially with the power we're running. Um, anyway, so that's where we are. That's what happened at that high routine today. Um, so I, all I want to do is to say anyone in, in my area, East Anglia, um, give hybrid tune a look up. Um, I'll put all of their uh, information below and a link to their website um, and a phone number and whatnot. So if you've got a stock one of these and you want to get it tuned up, give Sam a ring and now the map's made for this, he can um, do it at a really good cost. So um, he hasn't got to spend all day like we have today um, perfecting what we need to perfect. Um, it's good to get something custom done. This is what I've just learned, and then something off the shelf, because if now I have any issues, or I decide to put a GPF delete, or a, I don't know, a decat on this, or something like that, not that I will, but I might put a sports cat on anyway. Um, yeah, I can go straight to Sam now, and I think in an hour or so, he'd just be able to get it sorted, and retune it and there'd be no issues so I think that little personal touch of having somebody to go to if you do have any little issues goes a long way for me and in hindsight I should have done that off the bat rather than um, buying a mounting I guess um, so anyway give Sam a like and look him up on Facebook um, He's always posted on there what cars he's had through. Um, he is at getting his new uh, workshop done uh, in the next sort of couple of months. He hopes to be in there um, in October. So I'm definitely going to go to his open day, which he's going to run uh, once he's in. So I told him I'd bring camera along and do a bit of filming and whatnot on his open day for him. Which I want to do anyway. It's interesting to see what other cars sort of go through the door for him. He's obviously going to invite people he obviously knows. So it's all good. Anyway, that's where we are with the car and the dyno. I've got loads of other stuff coming up. Um, I've got some bodywork stuff to do. Um, with I've got the new grill ordered. I'm going to do a custom front grill, which I've ordered a crash damage front grill for this, so I can cut it and chop it about and not damage the grill, which is on here. I've got a lower one coming as well. I'm going to do a little bit of vinyl wrapping on the front. Um, I've got a few ideas of what I want to do, whether it works or not is a different story. Um, I've been playing about with the tints on the rear lights as well. Um, Sort of seeing what I can and can't do. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, obviously, Lauren Springs at some point. I just need to find time to do all this stuff. So uh, it's definitely going to be coming. And you just have to bear with me because I'm having a good clear out at home at the moment. Because, like I said, I'm going to be moving out. So uh, the, I might not be able to get a video out once a week over the next sort of couple of months until I'm sort of settled back in where I am. But anyway, we'll see. See, see if I can or not, I'll try my best so anyway like and subscribe look up Sam at Hybrid Tune uh, he, his knowledge is something else, even if you haven't got a Fiesta give him a look he, if you're in the East Anglian area 100% go to him, I would recommend him any day of the week so just yeah, give him a like on, on his website, on his Facebook page he's on Instagram just look him up, I'll put all the links below um, with that in mind, I will catch you all later and I will definitely see you on the next one.